Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I have one of your favorite videos to watch, a declutter. This time around I'm not going to be doing my entire collection. There's just some areas of my collection that are getting a bit too cluttered for my liking. So today I'm going to be tackling my foundations, my concealers, my powders. Uh, as well as my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I'm doing my eye extra drawer as well, which contains single shadows, liquid shadows, things like that. But my eyeshadow palettes and my lip drawers are fine. They don't need to be decluttered. So before we get to decluttering, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Oh, I forgot the disclaimer. All of the things in my collection are used. I've tried everything that are in my drawers here, so, so I can't donate any of the used things, but if it's still in good condition and it's not expired, obviously I'm going to be gifting them to friends and family, but if they're gone off or if they're too old or half done or anything, I'm going to recycle where I can and dispose where I have to. There we are. Let's do this. I'm going to be doing a drawer tour. I'm not going to be touching my eyelashes. They're fine. And I have a bunch of micellar waters and makeup removers in the back shelf there. But yeah, this section, this is the drawer that stresses me out the most right now. So I have foundations all in this area and behind over there, concealers, and then I have my eye primers as well as primers and some more concealers in here as well. And then I have powders over there as well. And then this is all my skincare. I don't think I'm going to be touching that today. And I have my eyebrows over here as well. Definitely the biggest job of the day. And this is the last drawer we're going to be going through, which contains all of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. And I also have sprays, which I don't think I need to go through, but yeah, that's where they live now. I'm going to start here because I don't think it's going to be the biggest job. There's just a few things I need to reorganize. So I think I'm going to finally let go of this Victoria Beckham shadow in the shade Mink. I just never ever reach for it. I think someone else could get good use out of it, so I'm going to pass it on. Over here, this is all staying. These are all of my Danessa Myricks color fixes, and these ones are the NYX ones that they came out with not too long ago, the Ultimate Eye Paints. So these are fine, and here I have a few things that I want to get rid of. Here, I'm gonna take this section out because I need to reorganize it. These are some chunky glitters. I have some stars from MAC as well as from Anastasia and these little hearts. I'm gonna be keeping those, those are fun once in a while. And then I have three shades in the Smashbox Always On shadows. I'm going to be keeping those as well. I have the original Kosas 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Globe. I'm going to be keeping this gem that they brutalized and I'm actually going to get rid of their new version because it's nowhere near close and I just forget about these constantly. I'm also going to get rid of the iconic London these things, the dual ended things. I thought I was going to use them a lot more but I never reach for them and these things always fall out as you can see. So I just, I just don't use them. I have some more fun things. I have some little pearls, some gems. These are great for some fun looks. Uh, some of them are from ColourPop, and these are, I don't know, they're just little crystals. These are really nice. These are the About Face Fractal Eye Paints. I'd swatch them, but I don't wanna get all glittery this soon into it. Actually, I will. You know what? The sacrifices I do for you guys. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine if I was like that. As if, gorgeous. That one's so pretty. I think that one's called, yeah, Tin Pan Alley. I have the Natasha Denona Scarab eye paint, which is a really fun multi-chrome. I hope it'll kind of catch on camera here. It'd be fun if it did. It's gorgeous. Definite keep. Oh, I have another always on shadow. I'm gonna keep that as well. I have two shades in the Rare Beauty Liquid Shadows. I have Nearly Neutral and Apricot. I'm going to be keeping both of those. I'm going to get rid of the Jones Road toppers as well. I just don't really like them. I tried to use them the other day and they're just too separate-y for me to love. You know what I mean? Like all the glitters are way too far apart from one another. I'm gonna let them go. And the rest here, I'm keeping. So I have a heavy metal liner from Urban Decay. I have three shades of the Danessa Myricks Twin Flames and this little elf shadow that's just so pretty. It's the shade Comet. 
It's just a nice little liquid shadow that's so pretty and reflective. That's better. These two I might move to my actual makeup bag because they're just two basic shades. I don't really need to have them here, but they'd be handy in my makeup bag, so I'm gonna move those. It's the NARS Shadows in Blondie and Coconut Grove. Then I have some Pat McGrath Eye Dolls in here, a couple of them. I have my, oh, ooh, this is such a fun color from Pat McGrath. It's another trio chrome. It's so cool. Really, really fun. I just looked through and I'm going to be keeping everything else you see here. So I have the Danessa Myricks foils and some of their cushion liners in the neon shades. I have these MAC things that they brought out last holiday season. They're really fun to play with. They have gorgeous shifts. I have all four shades. And then I have the Anastasia cake liners as well as, or hydro liners rather, and all of these Suba Beauty ones. And I have a Sugar Pill Lumi pigment here. And then here I've got my Melt Cosmetics eyeliners and the Auric ones. That's all that lives here. And then here's like a mess, but I know what's there. That's just what it's gonna look like. <laughs> that was a nice little warm up, but now it's time to hit the place I was most stressed about. Uh, so my foundations and concealers, and I also have more foundations in this box here because they didn't fit in here anymore. So I need to do some serious deciding. Holy foundations. Starting off easy, this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Tinted Serum. I'm going to be keeping it. I have three shades in the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I don't use all three shades. I feel like I never use the shade one. I think I use 1.5 and 2. So I'm going to let go of one. I don't need all three shades. I don't use it that, that often. These actually switched up on me. I used these recently and it almost looked like I put a green filter all the way up on a photo. It just like crumbled on my face. It was so gross. So I'm never going to be using these again. <laughs> uh, bye bye. I have quite a few shades in the LYS Triple Fix Foundation, which is one of my all time faves. Uh, I'm going to be keeping all four shades. I rotate through these all during the year. I have MN1 and MN3 and... LG6 and LG, oh, LG6 and LN6. I have three shades in the Makeup Forever HD Skin. I'm only going to get rid of one Y16, but I'm going to keep one N10 and one N14. This is kind of sad news, but these no longer work for me and I think they've gone off. Like it feels like there's a lot of gas in here. But the last time I used this, my skin got so itchy. These are the Undone Beauty Unfoundations. I have the matte and the glow tint. I don't know what happened, but I need to get rid of them. I don't trust them anymore. I'm going to be keeping my Say Slip Tint, although I feel kind of iffy on this one. I feel like I need to keep it. I have two shades in the Glossier tint. I'm going to get rid of this one, G9, because I've had it forever, but this is kind of a fresher bottle, so I'm going to keep that one. It's the shade G8. I have a lot of shades in the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body. They recently sent me a couple of new shades, so I'm going to be keeping all of these because it's a product that I love and adore. Previously I had to mix a couple, but now I don't think I have to. I just, I don't know which one's my perfect shade right now. I might let go of a few later on, but I'm going to see which one matches me. I'll decide later. These are an obvious keep. These are the Fenty Ease Drops. I have three shades, five, eight, and nine. I'm going, I love this. This is what I'm actually wearing today in the intro and outro. <laughs> This is sad, but it's time for me to let go of my Milani Screen Queens. These are still the original bottles from many years ago. I just need to let go of them. I'm also going to let go of my Oma Beauty Flawless IRL one and this Say What foundation. I just don't really get along with these anymore and I feel like they've been replaced by other things. Uh, there has been so many amazing foundation launches. As of late, these do not shine a light to them for me and my skin. So. Bye bye I'm also going to let go of my Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tints. I prefer other skin tints I have in my collection. I never think of these, never reach for them. 
uh, they're better suited somewhere else. My friend actually loves these, so she's gonna have three new ones. I'm also going to let go of my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This one simply breaks me out, but it is such a beautiful foundation. I wish it was for my skin type. I'm also going to be letting go of my Airbrush Flawless Foundations. I never reach for them anymore. Um, they used to be my favorite full coverage foundation, but I think I have others that I prefer more now. I just don't think of this foundation point blank. This one I was kind of iffy on, but I think I'm going to let it go. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation. I find that it's too hit or miss on me. Some days it looks beautiful, others it doesn't. I don't know. It's very similar feeling to like the Armani Luminous Silk when it's good, so I feel like I'd always reach for that one over this. Although I don't want to because the packaging is so freaking beautiful. I love it. I'm being very savage right now, but I'm also going to get rid of my M Cosmetics Tinted SPFs. I'm just getting rid of the cushions that are in here right now because these are still original and they're very much expired like they stink I got these even before they launched in PR like I, I got these gotta go but I'm keeping the cases so I can pick up new fresh ones to refill them I'm going to be keeping my Danessa Myricks yummy skin serum foundation as well as the vision cream cover this is my new favorite full 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 coverage foundations this one's very glowy this one's kind of like a satin kind of can be matte or whatever you do to it it looks fantastic i have the chanel les beige i'm going to be keeping this one for sure it's a new discovery of mine it's really really nice these are the Kosas foundations. I'm going to be keeping these as well. I'm actually going to let go of the Pat McGrath foundation I have here. It's far too deep for me. I always want to make it work for me, but it's just so dark. It's light medium 13, not for me. I have three shades in the NARS Light Reflecting. I kind of have to mix my own shade, so I'm going to keep all three of them. I find that the shade range leans super pink or super yellow, so I have to mix the two to make like a neutral shade. Um, so I'm keeping all three. I have Fiji, Salzburg, and I don't know, Yukon? Something of the sorts. These are probably obvious to you, but I'm keeping the Rose Ink Tinted Serums. Same with this gorgeous thing, the Rare Beauty Foundation. I mean, tinted, positive light tinted moisturizer. Help. And these are the four foundations that are left. Luminous Silk and Your Forever Skin Glow. Both some of my more used foundations. So of course, I'm going to be keeping all four. Okay, wow, I did so good. I was a little bit more savage than I thought I was going to be, but this is awesome. I emptied this out. I'm just gonna put these in storage so they're not blocking anything here, but they all fit really nicely and not super squeezed in like my concealers over here. That's awesome. Concealer time. So I have two LYS Triple Fix concealers. I'm just going to keep one shade because the other doesn't work for me. I forget which one it is all the time. It's this one, the golden one. LG3 is too yellow. I have three shades in my NARS potted concealer. I'm going to be keeping all three. I get good use out of them whether I use it on my face or under my eyes. I have two shades in my All Over Concealer from Lancome. I'm going to be keeping both of these as well. Most used concealer out of everything here, I think. Some more of my favorites. These are the Clay de Peau concealers. Love them. I use Ochre and Almond. No, I actually have three. I thought so. The other shade is Beige. <laughs> I was like, there's something missing here. I'm going to let go of my e.l.f. Cosmetics concealer, the Camo concealer, the hydrating one, just because last time I used it, it was kind of curdly under my eyes. Same with the Rare Beauty ones. I think they're just old now. I mean, this is from the initial launch anyways, so I feel like these are, are done So I probably will be repurchasing the Rare Beauty one though because I do really love it. I have some eye correctors here. The only one I use though is the Becca one. I don't think I'm going to get good use out of the Charlotte Tilbury one anymore, nor 
am I gonna get good use out of the Bobbi Brown one? I'm going to let go of my Glossier, this stretch concealer. I don't like it under my eyes, it's too creasy. And I do like this as a foundation, but I never use it as so, so I'm just gonna let it go. I have two shades in my Dior Forever Skin Correct. Love this one for sure a keeper. Same with my Fenty Beauty under eye brighteners. Love these. I haven't used these in a minute, but now that this is going to get cleaned out, I think I will. Love this NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Fantastic stuff here. But this concealer from Fenty is not my favorite anymore. I find it to be too drying and too thick under my eyes compared to other ones, so I'm going to let it go. This is the Jones Road The Perfect Pencil, or the Face Pencil. I like this one to touch up my face or under my eyes, so I'm gonna keep that. I do really like the Stay Woke Concealer from Oma Beauty, so I'm gonna keep this concealer is off <laughs> so I need to get rid of it. These ones do expire really really fast which is kind of why I've been separating myself from it. This is the only good one. These ones smell like blue cheese. <laughs> I gotta let it go. But this is the shade 03W which is actually my perfect shade. I have the Undone Beauty Conceal to Reveal palette. It's a three-in-one cream. It's really cool. Sheer medium to full. I kind of forgot about it but I'm happy I am going to remind myself now. It's really nice. I have two Quo Beauty concealers. These are really great. It's very similar to my Milk Makeup one. I'm actually going to be keeping all three. I have the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Wand, which is the same as the foundation, just in a smaller thing, so it's good for spot correcting. An oldie, but a goodie keeping. These are pretty new, and I do really like it. I'm going to keep it. I have decided that I really enjoy this concealer, the Faux Filter from Huda Beauty. This one kind of on the edge for me. I feel like it's gotten kicked away from this guy. I'm gonna let it go. I have the Josie Marin Vibrancy, which I'll be keeping. I'll be keeping this Dior Backstage one. I really like that one. And I'm going to be keeping my Nabla Regeneration, which is kind of similar to the Maybelline eraser. And the Kaja Beauty one, which I'm going to keep maybe? We'll see if it fits. If it doesn't, then it's a goner. I don't have any emotional connection towards it. Those look nice together. Oh my gosh. That is so much better. Whoa. Oh my gosh. You know what? Ugh, I, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> this makes me so happy because this is everything that I love the most. Of course, there are things that I didn't really want to get rid of because they were expired. And here is the other container which holds primers and powders. Let's do powders first. So let's start off with some easy ones. I'm going to be keeping my LYS, of course. Same with the e.l.f. one that I recently fell in love with. Um, of course, my Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder. I have two of the Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Tilbury, both in the same shade. I'm gonna be keeping both of those. Oh gosh, you can see a funny reflection in there. Um, I'm going to be keeping my Annabelle Perfect Matte. Same with the Wet n Wild Bare Focus. I think I'm going to let go of the Makeup Forever one because it takes up too much room. I recently revisited it and I didn't really love it compared to other things so I think I'm gonna let it go. These are of course Keeps, Kosas Cloud Set, Feathery, and Breezy. I have three shades in the Huda Beauty powders. I have the Cherry Blossom, Pound Cake, and I don't know, Sugar Cookie. I've never tried this one but I do really like these two so I might like that one. I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> Whatever. Keeping my Pat McGrath. I'm going to be keeping my NARS. <laughs> I'm going to let go of my Dior. I just never reach for it, ever. Rare Beauty, obvious keep. This one I'm hoping to put in my primers, but it's the Blurring Balm Powder from Danessa Myricks, so hopefully there's room there. And I'm going to keep my Air Set from Say, same with the Dear Dahlia one. So I did not do great here, but that's fine. I'm a tough critic when it comes to powders, so if they make it into my collection, it's probably because I like them. Primer time. 
I'm just gonna leave my eye primers in here. I have the Fenty, the Rare Beauty one, this NYX one, and the About Face. And I'm just gonna sneak this in here while I'm at it. First one I'm getting rid of is the LMS Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. I wanted to love this. I've tried it so many times. Um, but it always, always, always pills on me, so it's gotta go. I'm going to be keeping my Iconic London Radiance Booster. I have two shades in the Auric Glow Lust. I'm using Pyrite today, and it's so stunning as if I'm going to get rid of this. I have two of the Wet n Wild Impossible Primers. This one's almost done, so I got a refill. Love this primer, one of the bests. I have two of the Rare Beauty primers, the blurring one and the illuminating one. I love these primers as well, they're fantastic. I'm gonna be keeping both. I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip and the Pore Clips. This one I kind of feel like I wanna get rid of it, but I feel like it's gonna come in handy this summer. I just need to keep it, I feel like I need to keep it, so. Oh, I have a sneaky eye primer that left the other gang, the NARS one. This strobe cream, I did revisit it not too long ago it was pretty but i don't feel like i'm going to use it much i don't know i think i'm gonna let it go i might regret that it might sneak back into my collection i might just put this in my maybes i'm gonna put it in my maybes and then i have two elf ones the acne fighting putty primer and the power grip which i do enjoy both of these i thought i was gonna be more savage there but that's okay you know what mac is gonna fit perfectly. I'm just gonna keep it. I wasn't feeling right about that decision. I just wanted drama. Although this was an easy bin, I feel like this looks much better. I'm quickly going to go through my brow stuff. I think I'm just going to time lapse this. I need to wash all my sponges. Don't judge me. This is really expired, very expired, very expired, very expired, very expired. Um, I don't really use this brow powder. The Rare Beauty one replaced it for sure. Um, very dry. And this is freaking gross. I kept this for so long. Some of you are going to be super surprised that I get rid of this little rest of the bubble brow from Flower Beauty, but I just don't use it ever. It's so gross to look at. We're on to our last drawer. I'm going to start with bronzer. They're not all here because of my bronzer video I'm working on. These are all the new ones. The little screw fell out of my Wet n Wild. <laughs> the thing that was holding it on by a thread. I think I have to get rid of this. It's been airborne for so long. I'm going to repurchase it, but I wish they had different packaging because this is shit. <laughs> It was a little screw thing. I would not get rid of that if it was fine. This is one of my favorite bronzers, the Wet n Wild Sunset Striptease. Anyways, let's start off with these Rare Beauty bronzing sticks. These are phenomenal. I'm wearing one of the shades today. Love these. I have two shades. I have the Fenty Beauty bronzers here. I have the powder in the shade Into Sun. Love this. And I have the two creams, Amber, Amber and Butter Biscuit. Love these so much. Still, and they're old. I'm going to be keeping my makeup by Mario. Same with this one and of course the other one. It's just in the bronzer bag. I'm going to keep both of my M Cosmetics sticks, the So Soft sticks. The Sun Melt from Say is so amazing. This one I think has gotten replaced by other things now. The e.l.f powder bronzer. <sighs> Let me see the... Ch oh god, I just stabbed it. I'm so, so sorry. I say I'm gonna get rid of you, then I stab you. What kind of person am I? I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> what a disrespectful end. I'm going to keep my Charlotte Tilbury. Same with the Natasha Denona Tan Palette, as well as the LYS Triple Fix. No Limits bronzer. Pardon me. Same with the Patrick Todd Duo. I would never dream of it. I'm going to keep my e.l.f. putty bronzer. That definitely replaced the powder one. It's so nice. And I also have a similar thing. This is the Trini London one. I forgot I had this, so I'm excited to revisit that. I have to get rid of this. It's so old. I tried to use it the other day, but it stunk so bad. I'm not even gonna open it. This is the Kosas bronzer. I've had it for years. I think I'm going to get rid of the milk bronzer. That didn't sound very confident, so I don't think I will. I'm going to keep my Gucci Beauty one. I just love this thing so much. It's so bougie and nice, and it performs really nicely. I'm going to get rid of both of my Danessa Myricks Balm Contour 
and the power bronzer. The shades just don't work for my skin. One's too yellow, one's too orange. Beautiful formula, wrong colors. This one I feel kind of iffy on. This is the Chanel, no the Dior, pardon me. Forgot I had it, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's so cute and squishy. This is the Nabla bronzer in Ambra. I have to revisit this. I want to keep it though. This is the Melt Sculpt Stack, which comes in handy. You get four shades. I use the lighter ones, of course, and it has a really nice contour powder. I'm going to get rid of my Undone Beauty water bronzer. It's really difficult to work with, and I never reach for it for that reason. Uh, I'm going to keep my little Milk Baked Bronzing Stick. It's so small and cute. Obvious keep. Here is the final bronzer situation. Off the bat, I'm going to let go of this one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. This used to be my favorite, but I feel like it's kind of gone weird. It's like kind of, I don't know, gummy? I don't want to get rid of it, obviously. It's been one of my favorites, but I just don't reach for it. It's gotten kind of different. I have the Ilia highlighter. I'm never going to get rid of you. Well, not right now. Never say never. Gotta threaten it a little bit, but I still, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. I'm keeping it. Same with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow. And these MAC ones. These are the cream color base. I'm getting rid of pearl. It's a little bit too light for me. This is my perfect dreamy color, Hush. It's the shade Hush. I'm keeping my Trini London highlight that I love so, so dearly. I'm also going to keep my Dior one. Might as well with the bronzer. It's, it's a cute highlight. I'm going to keep my M Cosmetics highlights. I have the cushion as well as the powder one, which is so lovely. I think I'm going to get rid of this Makeup by Mario one. I find it to be a little too peachy pink for me. It's the shade Pearl. Oh look, I got rid of two highlights named Pearl. <laughs> I just don't really love it. I don't love it. I'm going to keep my Burt's Bees Luminizers. These are lovely. I've never tried this one from About Face, but it's pink. So I think it's gonna get out of here. And it's a powder highlight. I just don't know if I'm gonna use that. But on the other hand, I love these About Face ones. The, the liquid one. My favorite shade is Shaken or Stirred. Roses in the Walls. I don't like it. Uh, oh no, it was a really nice blush mixer. I'm gonna keep it. This one's unrestrained, which is kind of funky. It's like so fun and funky that I can't get rid of it. Like I could probably do something cool with that, you know? Like it's so different. It's gonna come in clutch one day. I just said something so Canadian. These are the Fenty Beauty liquid highlights. I'm gonna keep one shade. Vintage Velour, because this Hustla Baby is too dark. I'm going to get rid of the Guernat terracotta stick. I uh, finally am gonna let it go. It smells really good, it feels nostalgic. I, it's pretty, but it's too dark for my skin. Oh, it's so smelly, it's so nice. This is the Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. It's beautiful, I'm gonna be keeping that. I'm gonna be keeping my NARS as well as my Nabla Amnesia. This is my little Daniel Sandler watercolor liquid cheek color in the shade <laughs> Elegance. It's really nice. Really pretty, it reminds me of my mom. I have my sex foils. I only ever reach for Stargazer. I don't reach for gold ore. Let me see why. Is it too gold? Oh, it might be. Oh my gosh, that is gold member. I'm gonna let that go. It even blends in like really gold. It reminds me of that Fenty Beauty highlighter. But I love, love, love this. Sorry guys, my camera died there, but I'm going to be keeping the rest here. The Rare Beauty highlights, I like to mix and match them and create my own shade, and the Milk Makeup Lit Stick. That sounds like Miranda Sings, but it's lit and it's a stick. Only the Rare Beauty ones will be hanging out over here. Oh no, what am I doing? There's some left over here. Now let's move on to blush. I don't know if I'm actually going to remove anything from this little section. Maybe I'm gonna find a better place for this one, but I have my Fenty Beauty blushes. I have Bikini Martini, Rose Latte, and Peach Face. And then I have an e.l.f. blush, I forget the name, Turks and Caicos. Then I have the Air Matte blushes in Gasp and Hushed from NARS. I'm gonna take these ones out over here though. 
This is kind of crazy, but these are most of my blushes. I have more on the outskirts. And there's not much here that I see that I want to get rid of, which is the crazy thing. There's just one that I saw immediately that I knew I wanted to get rid of, and that is this Cover Effects uh, Soft Peach Blush. But I'm keeping this one, Warm Honey. What is Cover Effects even doing? I just realized. And then I have the Danessa Myricks blush palettes here. Here, I'm just gonna move this for a second. I'm gonna put more blushes in here because I think I can expand another little area for blush. I have these Item Beauty blushes. I kind of forgot about these. I have, it's Verified. They're like supposed to be cream, but they're kind of powdery. They're different. I have Bad Bleep, which is kind of too, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that. And Oopsies, which is like a bright color. And then I have these ombre blushes from Dear Dahlia, which I really enjoy. They're so cool and so pretty. I'm gonna keep those. And then I have these Bobbi Brown ones, which I, I feel like I'm gonna get rid of them finally. I think I was debating on getting rid of them on my last declutter, but I think it's time. I'm gonna let go of them. And then I have Bubble in stick form from Persona. Boop. I'm gonna move the Merit blushes into this little container. I have Terracotta and Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is my favorite, but I'm gonna leave it like this. This is the perfect section for me. I have M Cosmetics Serum Blushes, Rose Ink Blushes, Melting Blushes from Rare Beauty. Now over here, these are the Undone Beauty. I used to love these. I might just keep this raspberry shade Merlot. I, I don't feel anything towards it. In this little section, I have my Daniel Sandler blush colors, my Quo Beauty liquid blushes. I have that Say Poppy shade, which is so fun. My Glossier cloud paints. These are all of my M Cosmetics So Soft blushes. Oh, I see one I'm gonna get rid of, this color. I tried to use it the other day and I did not like it. It was far too pearly for me. It's like more of like a highlighter than anything. I just didn't love it. But now it's reminding me of something. Let's see. Oh my gosh. That's the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. They're very similar actually. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm gonna try it in a different placement. But yes, I have all three beauty light wands from Charlotte Tilbury here, just because I like to keep them all together. I think they look cute as a family. I'm going to get rid of this Laura Mercier shade, La Piscine. It's just far too light for me. It looks like chalk on my skin, but I think the rest are good. Over here, I have my three Patrick Ta duos. She's so LA, do we know her? And oh, she's different. Love these, and I also have the palette there. Then I have my M Cosmetics powder blushes here. Venetian Rose, Faded Clementine, Rococo, Baroque, and Magic Hour. These I'm gonna revisit. Melt Cosmetics cream blushes. I haven't looked at them in a while. Same with these Undone Beauty ones. I'm also gonna make sure this is okay. Now I'm pulling out shades I'm kind of concerned about all of a sudden. I have the Persona Bubble Powder one, as well as the Dior Pink Blush everyone's wild about. <clears throat> then I have some MAC blushes here, some Glow Play blushes from MAC as well. These are all of the ones I want to check up on. I haven't thought about these in so long, but they have so many pretty colors. I know they're expanding two shades too, because these are all very peachy. They're coming out with two pinks. I know there's some that are a little bit too orangey for my liking. I think that's one of them, Sandy Cheeks. And I think this one, oh yeah, that one, that one for sure is not the vibe for me. That's Cali Dream. I'm gonna get rid of those two. I think this is Honey Thief, one of my favorites. Yeah, Honey Thief is gorgeous. Golden Hour. Ooh, feels a little bit, ooh, different. I'm gonna get rid of that. Lynx and Sundown are really pretty. That's Sundown, and this is Lynx. I like those. I'm happy I revisited that because I got rid of three. This is the e.l.f. Always Rosy blush. I just don't really think about it anymore. I think I'm gonna let it go. These I rarely use. I thought I was gonna use these so much. These can go on your cheeks and lips. I like that pink. I think I'm gonna keep these two. The shades Flare and Rosy, but I'm gonna get rid of Rosewood and Poppy. This is a product that I haven't checked up on in a long time. It seems to be okay. It smells okay too. 
Yeah, these are fine. That's the Kosas Tropic Equinox Duo. These are very old, Desired Glow. I think it's Clean Beauty too, and I've had it for many, many years. I think it's gotta go. But I love this shade. This is a newer one. I forget what color it is. I'd have to pop it all out, but I don't want to do that right now. It's so cute. These are the Tower 28 blushes. They look good. That's Power Hour, and this is After Hours. Yeah. They're still good. This is my Wet n Wild. Another one with a broken lid. Uh, come on, Wet n Wild. This is Mellow Wine, which feels very dry, probably because it's been exposed to air for a bajillion years. I'm gonna let it go. Mad now. And this is Charlotte Tilbury, which looks good. I like that, keep the cool pinks together. I'm gonna throw in the other blushes that were in that little square here too. That makes me happy. And here is everything I'm getting rid of today. And here is this drawer all done. I did decide to not go through this today. It didn't need to be done. This is what this looks like, and I put the extra glitters over here. This is my biggest accomplishment here. Such a heavy drawer, but this is so, so nice and organized. And this one. It's pretty good, too. And sadly, this is the end of today's declutter. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, Ren said, oh, that's her outro. It's time to go cuddle.